Yo, yo, guys, what's good? And welcome back to Fruit Battlegrounds. So and today, yeah, as you can see, we got the Max Megu 250 showcase for you guys. Now, this fruit has been through a lot already. It's only been two days, I believe, since it came out. Two or three days, something like that, since it came out. And man, oh man, this thing has been through a lot. If y'all know, when Magu first came out, it was one of the best, it was possibly the best fruit in the game when it first came out. Then it went through a very heavy nerf. So, but, so bad, the nerf was so bad that it was considered trash. Like, it was absolutely just garbage. That's how bad it was. But then, the owner rebuffed it, uh, did a little bit more changes. But still, there still could be some fixes and stuff, but it is what it is. We got the fruit like we got now. So now, I'm finally able to make the video max fruit showcase of Magu for you guys. And I don't think there's going to be another change in the future. So I think today would be the perfect time to make the video now. <coughs> uh, this is future Knocked here. Uh, let me do first say apologize again. So I'm in a non-updated server. So not all the stats for every move, especially the second move, is the right. So you see that in a later video as I fight people in public servers with the real stats is for some of the moves, especially the second move. So my bad about that, guys. Alright, peace. Alright. So, as we all know, Magu is um an epic fruit. It's, I don't know the chances, but yes, yeah, epic fruit is one of the epic fruits. Uh, Pika, Mirror, and now Magu. Now, um, it, quite, it could be, it took me about 5k gems to get it, but like I said, today is a showcase for you guys, so I'm gonna get right into that for you guys. Shout out the damage of all the moves, and yeah. Alright, so if we look at the bottom, we have five moves. We have Major Eruption, Meteor Volcano, Plume. Plume, plum, plum. I said that wrong. Eruption Surge and Hellhound. Now, Eruption, uh, Major Eruption is basically Magu Fist, but just like, yeah, Magu Fist. But, um, it actually has a great range. I'm gonna see if you can hit both of these two at the same time. So you can hold it if you want to, but it doesn't know increased damage and the range does not get bigger. It's set. But here's, uh, Magu Eruption. Or Major Eruption. My bad. Alright, so we didn't hit, we can't hit both, but you can see we still still does have a pretty good uh, hitbox. It does 2.2 burn and a tick, so that's quite that's quite a long burn. And it does 58.5 damage base damage. Okay, that's cool. So plus the 2.2, I'll say around easy 80 to 90 damage for sure. Alright, so let's get him out here real quick. Alright, cool. Alright, now. Okay, I was on the... Okay, let's do this one. Now we have Mr. Volcano. Now, this is a move that was heavily nerfed. And what they did was they nerfed the damage and also made, gave it extreme knockback. But instead, they reverted it. Now it just has... It has better damage, but it still has extreme knockback. But it's a barrage of fists. But like I said, this move can still be done better and fixed. Because for a barrage stack, it shouldn't do this much knockback. But this is Mr. Volcano. And as you can see... It, it hits for a 9 each hit. Also, this uh, Magu Pillar does around like 4 damage or like 4.5 damage each time the character walks into it. So, give me a second. I'm trying to reset this dude real quick and try to do that for y'all. Alright. So, I'm going to try to get the thing real quick. I think it does like 7 hits. And he's up there. But as you can see, the knockback is really, really... It's like he's a trampoline, I'm telling you. Uh, but... Yeah, that Magu, the Magu Pillow does damage, so keep that, do keep that in mind. Alright, so the next move is Plume. Now, Plume is always like Sans uh, ground move too. I'm going to see people using this in combat, because it's not really useful unless you hit it with um, Eruption Surge first. But Plume is basically, you hit the ground and like a uh, little small Vakulans come in and do like a little Eruption. And let me show you that now. Also, the longer you hold it, the longer it is. But it does 63 damage base and that's actually very that's actually pretty good but if you can hit it but it does no burn damage it's kind of surprising it doesn't do burn damage but yeah but if i hold it it the uh, it goes quite a few far i think it go all the way up to the uh tree so let's uh, hold it a little bit longer and let's just use it oh yeah you see how far it goes yeah but like i say you gotta hold it for a long time for it to go that far so as you can see you really want to use that in that battle because you just leave yourself open to get more attacks but with the next move or eruption surge, this move is not only a good move for like mobility and getting away from a fight, but also what people don't know about this move is if you hit a player with this move, 
they will actually get stunned like a bomb stun. So they'll be stunned on the ground for like a good 5 seconds. Which makes this move pretty good, but it's actually very hard to hit. But, a rupture surge, you basically get your character, and you hop in the air. Boom. And like I said, the character will be stunned for like 5 seconds. Do you see how the dummy is still stunned? So you can get a, uh, a plume off right there, and you can actually like do a little, a little small combo with it. But, that's a rupture surge. But also one thing with a rupture surge is, you can actually hold it down too. So if you hold it down, it doesn't do more damage, but you do get launched all the way up to the sky, and the uh, hit range is bigger. So let me show that for you guys real quick. So we're gonna like distance ourselves a little bit. Like I'll say it right here, it's fine. Now this move, it launches you all the way up in the air. If like it's like look how high, look how high you go. Oh my goodness, that's that's hilarious. But yeah, it's a good move not only for to try to get a stun off and get some a combo in, but it's also good to like get uh, away from a fight and try to get away. So that's a cool thing. I don't say how Magu has a uh, getaway move, actually two, but not the gravity. But you know we can't complain. But alright, so next, the last move, the uh, ultimate move, is Hellhound. So Hellhound, if you play GPO, it's like the Hellhound Fist. But instead of you throwing the fist, you actually become the Hellhound. You can control it, you can fly with it, you can do anything with it. It's actually crazy. So let me show you the Hellhound for you. So what you do is, you drag uh, players inside your Hellhound. And uh, you grab as many players as you want. But for some reason, if you like turn too much, the player will be able to get out of it. So I haven't really used this in PP a lot, but here's Hellhound. I see it does 1.7 a tick. It does, it's doing a lot. And then I did not get to see the final damage at all. But it does explosion around, I say like 50 to 60 damage. Uh, from when you saw it, I will play it back so you can see the damage again. But that's Hellhound. Now, like I said, you could do comps with this. So the only way you can really hit Hellhound really good without having the problems is what I would do is I hit the player of uh, Eruption Surge and then I hit them with Hellhound. But I don't really use this fruit and PvP on because of of like it does good damage, but there's other better fruits to play with out there. So I really recommend it. I only I only use it to troll people for real. Can it be absolutely hilarious? But let's reset these um dummies for you guys and see how hellhound again. Alright, so like like I said, one cool thing you do with hellhound is you can launch the players in the air and they can use the the ultimate move while they're stunned on the ground and it's dragging with you. Look at that damage. It does 67.7 damage with the explosion at the end. So that's actually really good if you use it at the right time. Like I said, this Megu has 5 attack moves and it also has 2 evasive moves you can get away from a fight with. So, I'm going to join the public server and show you how it is in uh, PvP. And let's just get right to it.
Wait, is it doing 13.5 damage? It's doing 13.5 damage. I got that damage completely wrong. So I guess in the Oh, the private server was updated. I forgot. Yeah, sorry guys for that. It was the updated private server, so that wasn't a real damage. What? It does 13.5. Bro, leave me to my prey. Uh oh. Can we block this? Can we can we stun him? Where's he at? Yeah, I got him. Yeah, wait yet. This dude, man. Come here. Oh yeah, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. This bag will put it at work. Hold up. It's not actually bad. I'm about to switch off. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Yeah, guys, that's a Magu showcase for you guys. And let me do sincerely apologize. I forgot this private server that I, was, I am in right now is not updated. So the Meteor Volcano actually has is not in the buff state. So as you can see in the um in the battle I just showed you, it does 13.5 damage. And this do extreme knockback like it did, like I showed you at the beginning of the video. So that alone just made the fruit a lot more better in my eyes and i obviously am going to now keep this fruit as the pvp with it also because bosses are coming out so this would be a great fruit to have for dps for fighting the boss but yeah this has been your boy nox maggle is not bad it's actually now a top tier fruit again and i'll see y'all in the next one peace